Hi, my name is Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager here at WD, and today we're going to talk about how to get a, a My Passport wireless set up using an iOS device. In this case, I'm going to use my iPad mini. Now, let's take a look uh, at what we get in the box. Uh, today, we're going to be using my 2 terabyte My Passport wireless, and the device itself has a button on the top for power as well as another button for Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the power button for just a couple seconds, and it'll begin to boot up. Now, this, uh, uh, the power button, or the power status LED, blinks white for 20 or 30 seconds, and then we're going to see that uh, turn blue or green and give the, the power status. Now, the, the LED below, that's the wireless LED. Once that turns blue, we know we can, we can connect. But while this is booting up, I'm going to switch over to my iPad, and I'm going to download the MyCloud app. So I'm already here in my app store. Just do a search for MyCloud. I've already got this installed. Uh, but once you, once you install the MyCloud application, we'll be able to get set up. So I'm actually going to switch now out of the App Store. I'm going to go connect to my Wi-Fi. And I can see my Passport Wireless is already booted up and it's broadcasting its wireless network. So I'll choose to join my Passport. And now once I leave here, I'm going to launch the MyCloud app. Now the MyCloud app has discovered that it's on the same wireless network as my, my Passport Wireless. And I can see my Passport found in the network. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to, to connect to that. And since the device has never been set up, it's going to walk me through a couple easy steps. So I'll click Next in the top right. Um, I get a chance to change the Wi-Fi name of the device. Right now this, this is broadcasting a Wi-Fi name of my Passport. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Uh, but I am going to choose to show password, and I'm going to type in a password now. Uh, I'm going to choose password as my secret password, which we don't suggest you use because obviously it's too obvious. Choose save. And now the drive is secure. So now what's going to happen is my passport wireless changed its wireless network settings. Uh, my iPad is not going to be connected because now suddenly this wireless network has security that it didn't have before. So now I'm going to leave this app. I'm going to go back to settings. I can see I've reconnected to my WD demo network. I'm going to wait for my Passport Wireless to come back on this list. Now that my Passport Wireless is rebroadcasting, we can see it's now a secure network. So once I try to connect, I'm going to have to type in my password. Click join. And now I've reconnected to the secure wireless network. So I'll go back to my app, and I can continue to use the MyCloud app. And now I'm connected. So this is, uh, was all it really took to get connected here. Uh, we, will, we will look at a couple other things. So if I go to the menu here, I can actually pull uh, this, slide this to the left, and I can change the settings for my passport. Now one of the things we wanted to also be able to do was be connected to the Internet at the same time. Currently I'm connected using a direct connection. But if I wanted to also be connected to Wi-Fi, I'm going to choose Network Connection Setup. And now I've got two choices. I can either connect using Hotspot or connect using Home Network. The difference between these two is a bit subtle. Hotspot's designed for uh, public settings like a, uh, a coffee shop, a hotel, an airport, somewhere like that. And I might want the internet to be connected to my devices, but not also share my files with all of the other people connected to that Wi-Fi network. In Home Network mode, we really do want to share it, so we want to uh, enable other devices and other computers on the same home network to see all these files and media. So depending on your, your place, if you're connecting to a public place, use Hotspot. If, and if you're connecting at home, just choose Home Network. Today we're going to choose Hotspot. Now I'm going to choose uh, the WD Demo Network to connect to. And this has a password, so I'm going to type that in. And now I'm connected to the internet and to my Passport Wireless. So as you can see, getting my Passport Wireless set up using an iOS device is real easy. Download the application, power the thing up, connect to its Wi-Fi network, uh, answer a couple basic steps right from the, from the mobile application, and you're up and running. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.